Hey, Amanda. I hate your head. Where are we? You'd be arrested. Detroit well, Metropolitan actually, Airport. One of the new wrinkles this year but is where are we? Are um, we're in Hockey Town like Restaurant. Cafe? Cafe. Hockey so, Town so Cafe. Okay. Um, what are we waiting to do? Oh, we're just waiting for breakfast. And then where? And then what? Networking. I don't know, then we're killing and, time uh, waiting for special deals. The airplane to leave. It, it may, there are some instances okay. where it may be hard to wait. And where are we going? Absolutely. We did a, a oh, price we're analysis going with to a website called Phoenix, Decide.com, Arizona. which crunches a lot of historical All right, price that's data. Cool. And what we looked at were TVs so, and Amazon um, are you nervous? to see, are the best deals on Black Friday? Maybe a little bit, but wait. And for no, top-rated electronics like that, security and everything, no, it's... Do you, the best deals are not now. Yeah, right, I don't know. Hearing that a lot of, uh, retailers All right. Don't do you like flying? Stock they don't get mm. stuck. And so, I, mean, could I like some aspects of flying of and some aspects of... They're not running out of stuff, trust me. It is kind of fun, but I don't like when the airplane's, like, turning and it does this thing. And I feel like I'm going to fall. I don't like that, and I don't like that my ears hurt in the airplane. Uh, but we're going to try something different to try and fix that. Well, I guess just some sinus drugs to clear sinuses. All right. Um, and you gum. And you gum. Yeah. So um, if anyone has um, had flight experiences, um, maybe you guys can post some tips and tricks that you use on flights. What do you think? All right. There's nothing going on yet. No. But yeah, we're on our way. We'll keep you updated. Say bye. Hey guys, it's Amanda with Getting There Green, and I'm coming to you from Phoenix, Arizona. And I want to show you how we put together this mini greenhouse to go over top of a four by two foot raised bed. And I'm just going to bring you in close to show you how we built this. Okay, so we had this uh, two foot by four foot raised garden bed here, and it is late November. As you're probably aware, in Arizona, it doesn't get all that cold in the winter, but it does get close to freezing some nights. Um, so we wanted to plastic in the raised beds in the garden here just to maintain the heat of the day and uh, you know keep the plants in here from freezing or getting frost or you know just cooling too much to grow well um, what we did we used all scrap wood that we happened to already have around and we built this here is just a wood frame we built around the entire thing it's about what three quarter inch by one inch one and a half inch wood um, just a frame going around using L brackets so the whole thing can lift off we used uh, let me see four foot tall ones because we happen to have those to build the frame it didn't obviously need to be that tall when this is a herb garden but it's the wood we have so rather than cutting it we just made it that big and then we took plastic this is vapor barrier plastic that we found at the local hardware store this is the six mil it's the thickest that they sell and we wrapped that around the wood stapled it in place on the three walls as well as the roof show you that. we used duct tape for any uh, small tears or corners or seams. We used duct tape on any corners, tears, seams that we needed to. And then on the front, we just kept it flat, a flap. On the front, we put in this flap. At the bottom to weight it down and um, keep it shape, we just stapled it, the plastic, to another piece of wood. So the whole thing can be pulled up. 
opened up during the day to let heat out or open up so that you can do work inside the garden. And to keep that plastic in place, we've stapled some Velcro to the base. and to the plastic so that it can stay closed. And also to keep the sides somewhat taut, we're going to be putting in just some magnets here and on this plastic just to hold it in place. And that's all we need to do since it doesn't, you know, we don't need to make this withstand snow or anything. So that is just one way that you can enclose your raised beds for the winter if you're in a climate like this that doesn't need to be, you know, really winterized. We're hoping this plastic will do for at least one season. We're hoping the plastic will do for at least one season. And um, if it works well, maybe it'll be the same next year or something more permanent maybe next year. And we have a couple more beds that we're going to be doing this to. So, there you go.